Let's bring in now Congressman Keith Ellison of Minnesota. Keith, good to have you uh, on the show this good morning. morning. We know you're. Hi, Mika. Keith is one of the people running for DNC chair. Um, where do we begin, first of all, uh, in terms of your party's reaction to the ban, the travel ban, and would you call it a Muslim ban? It's absolutely a Muslim ban, it, and more seriously, it's a religiously based ban, which means they could pick on Muslims today, but who are they going to pick on tomorrow? But it's not a ban on all, view, all Muslims. You know, well, you know, but, but wait a minute. They said that they could add countries anytime they want, and we have to start with what, uh, what Donald Trump said in originally. He said he wanted a Muslim ban, and then he sent it to some lawyers and some folks to try to language it up so that he could, it could pass muster, but the intent here is very clear. It is a Muslim ban. He was asked, would it exclude other people, and he said, no, it would not exclude uh, uh, people from other religions. It would exclude Muslims, though. So this is a Muslim ban, and, and we should focus on, on that, because that's new. Congress, Our country uh, doesn't Congress, do man, that. There were, there were uh, I think, over 40 Muslim-majority countries not on that list, and also... But what the congressman is all, saying is he thinks also, because they're open to maybe adding but, more, that that makes well, it a Muslim ban. They, uh, Ritz also, Priebus said uh, that they also, are getting to the other ones. Uh, he said that also, yesterday. Okay. Uh, Congressman also, actually the list of seven countries that were selected actually came guidance from the Obama administration. None of the countries were actually listed on this order. They were taken from the countries selected in 2015 and 16 from the Obama administration, correct? But, but, Joe, but Joe, how can we say this is not a Muslim ban when the president said he wanted a Muslim ban? Because I mean, the a billion is, Muslims is, is are banned? Is, look, the, the, well, here's, but, but uh, Rince Priebus, the chief of staff, said, look, we could add more Muslim countries as we go forward. Mm -hmm. He made that point very clear. And, and look, I think the real right. point is not is this thing been executed in the best way. It clearly is not. It clearly is chaotic. It, he's clearly mm -hmm. not click, checking in the, with the right sources. And it's sort of a mess, as this whole campaign has been. But at, at the bottom of that, what he's doing is wrong. We have an equal protection clause in our country which says that you cannot take one class of persons and treat them different from another class of persons. You cannot say, our, in our first, in the first clause of our First Amendment says that Congress shall make no law establishing a religion nor bridge the free exercise thereof. Religious tolerance is a core American value. Donald Trump mm. has broke that core American value, and that is the All heart right. of this problem. Mm. David Ignatius is with us and has a question. David. C Congressman, I, I want to ask you, uh, President Trump t uh, speaks about this uh, ban as an attempt to keep the United States safe. That really comes down in, in part to a question of what American Muslims uh, think and their willingness to report on uh, their, their friends and neighbors, report suspicious uh, activity. What do you think the effect will be on American Muslims uh, as they get up today, Monday, and think about this? People are afraid. You know, uh, there's a woman, I mean, there, there are people all over this country who, who saw that there was this mosque attack in, in Canada, and people really do feel that when the president greenlights hatred of a particular group, that obviously the negative people will come out of the woodwork and do things that would not be uh, socially acceptable, like committing mass murder. Uh, but, you know, these things are sort of allowed when the mm -hmm. very head of our country is saying things like, we should have a Muslim man, that Muslims are the, a dangerous group of people amongst right. us. Look, the refugees we're talking about here uh, get uh, screened 18 to 24 months. These people are under intense vetting already. This yeah. is not about American national security. <clears throat> this is about prejudice. This is about singling out people. And we've got to keep the focus on what is really happening here. Our country is, right. a, is, is in a Japanese internment space, and I hope folks really focus in on that. All right, Congressman Keith Ellison, thank, thank you, you so much for being with us. We have thank break. You. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube, and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories, and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.